Hey guys, what's going on? <clears throat> Here we are today. I'm gonna do a review on my uh, my half inch snap on electric torque wrench. Um, I got this coming up on three years ago. It's the hundredth anniversary version. Um, it does angle degrees. I think angle and degrees are the same thing. I can't. No, no, no. I lied. It does angle degrees, newton meters, and foot pounds. I believe. I, uh, <clears throat> I've had to send it out twice. I don't, you see, it's not like I don't, it's used. I don't use it very much. I always try to keep it in the case. Um, I've had to send it out twice already. Uh, the first time this down button stopped working, like this one here. Um, and then they send it back. Yeah, okay, it's fixed, no problem. Used it once, went to use it the next time. Button had to fit again. So I had to send it out a second time. And I just got it back and it just recalibrated as well. So uh, hopefully now it'll be good. And uh, yeah, we figured we'll just do a nice little review and uh, we'll just, you know, show you. We, I got a, we got a nice bolt here, just like a, just a grade five bolt. We're just gonna put in the vise and uh, torque it down, just kind of show you what all this thing can do. Uh, so yeah, we'll move over to the vise and we'll uh, see you guys there. All right, guys, right, so here we are. Um, so this is, uh, I actually didn't even measure, I don't even know how long this, I don't know the actual spec, but uh, anyway. You know, it's got a nice reversible head on it. Um, anyway, so what we'll do here, just just put one press of the button, and it always zeroes out uh, too. So here, so it goes maximum 300. This is in foot pounds. And if you're wondering, these numbers here in the corner means so if I have to do if I have to torque at 300 like six times, it'll keep track of every time I torque at 300. It's kind of cool actually. So this so this is obviously the power button. This is the unit. So you can change, so here, this is the inch pounds, 3,600 inch pounds. Those, there's the Newton meters. I still, I don't remember what KGM stands for. Um, if someone in the comments knows or has this, let me know, because I would love to know. I could, I could also Google it, but. So this little button here is a light, so the screen lights up. It's kind of nice, actually. And then this here, so, you, so then when you see, so then it has to zero out, so you have to, see, if you hold it still. There you go. Oh, there you go. Now, now we're in degrees. So it does do degrees. So now anything for degrees. So sometimes like, uh, like if you're torquing like flywheel bolts, I've used this before because sometimes they say like torque at 180 and then 90 like foot pounds and then another 90 degrees after that. So then you just set this bad boy to 90. You know, you can just run through the buttons here. You can actually hold it too and then it'll just do a fast pace. See how fast, zoom in. See how fast it's going there. So let's say you need it at 100 degrees, you know, Actually, we'll just we'll just start here. Might as well just start with 100 degrees. We'll put our socket on here. Now, if you want to come over here on this side, you'll see. If you watch this here, so it'll just we'll tighten it. See, there you go. See how it's showing? It's starting to get tight. This is going to take a while, but. And uh, once it gets to the the setting that you want it at, we we'll get there, start going red, and then once it gets, I'm moving the whole table now. So I showed you the degrees, and then the the whole torque wrench. I'm literally moving the whole the whole bench here. The whole torque wrench will vibrate. Well, anyway, <laughs> it should. Okay, let, let's try this again here. There, you guys can't feel it, but. The torque wrench vibrated. Oh, I didn't, that's, oh, I didn't, it's, it, it, see, 208 foot-pounds. Anyway, if we go back to the units here, we'll switch out of, there we go, now we're back into uh, foot-pounds, so, actually, and then, so it goes from 15 to 300 foot-pounds, so let's, uh, let's jump this up to, I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll back that off, and then we'll do it at like 100 and, 110, let's say, or 120, okay, that's fine. So we're gonna back this off. Oh wow, hold table. There we go. Okay. So see negative 108, 178 foot pounds. So when I was backing it off, it, it it'll tell you how much torque you have while you're backing it off. Anyway. Let's back this nut off a little bit. So anyway, now it's backed off and we'll tighten it down again. <clears throat> Hopefully this time the table won't move on me. So see how I, it's at 120 foot pounds. Oh, there we go. See, so now, so now it's starting to close in a little bit. 
it's only 25, but. Boom, we're going, we're going. Oh, so there it is, 120. See, 121. So, it's a very nice torque wrench. Um, it's definitely not, uh, not the cheapest torque wrench on the market, but uh, <clears throat> I guess the age old question would be, would I buy it again? Do I regret buying it? I do not regret buying it and I would 100% buy it again because when you gotta do that 90 degrees for even like, let's say you know, you're, re you're rebuilding engines or even doing like wheel seals and whatever, or even anything that needs specifics, like this thing, it's, it's fantastic. Like when I'm doing wheel seals, I use this, well, when I have it, I use it all the time, it's great. And then uh, I've had to use it you know, to torque down like injector lines and stuff like that. But 100% uh, I would buy it again. I wouldn't recommend buying one of these right out of the gate. A nice little click type, actually I can show you too, a nice little click type one I have from Princess Auto. I bought a few years ago, like it still works great. It goes up to uh, 250 foot pounds, like that's, but once you get, you know, once you start making some decent money and you want to upgrade, I would definitely get one of these. Wouldn't, for me, I wouldn't buy, I would not buy the 3 8 electric one just because I don't, I'm not doing that much 3 8 torquing, but yeah, I don't know. I would definitely, definitely recommend buying one of these. At, like I said, not right away, but I would definitely recommend buying one. So if you guys want to see anything else or whatever, just uh, let us know in the comments and uh, yeah, um, have a great day and we'll see you guys next time.